Hello, hello, my friends, and welcome back to M Storytime. I'm M, and I get to share my favorite story for the week with you. Are you ready? Today's story is dun dun dun. <gasps> giraffes can't dance. Wait, giraffes can't dance? <gasps> but look, he's dancing so beautifully on the front. Hmm. I think we should read the story and find out if giraffes can dance. Let's see. Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andrea and Guy Parker Reese. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots of trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Oh no, poor Gerald. Look at him, flat on the ground. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. Oh, poor Gerald. He's not good at dancing. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rocked and rolled. The lions danced a tango, which was elegant and bold. Look at the lions. Very elegant and very bold. The chimps all did the cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Woohoo! Doesn't that look fun? <laughs> Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor. But the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald. The animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft. <gasps> How mean of the other animals. I hope Gerald's okay. That's really not very nice at all, is it? Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Look at Gerald walking off alone. Look how droopy his little head is. He must be very sad. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. That is a wise cricket. That's such a nice thought. Let's close our eyes and see what we can hear. Shh. What can you hear? Do you hear the trees and the wind? With that, the cricket smiled and he picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail swishing round. Look at his tail swishing round and round and round. And his neck gently swaying. Can you sway as well? Just like Gerald. 
He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. <gasps> wow, Gerald, that's amazing. <gasps> Look at him go. <coughs> Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing, I'm dancing, Gerald cried. <gasps> he looks so happy. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. <gasps> Look at them all watching and cheering Gerald on. How is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled round and finished with a bow. It looks so good. Look at all the flowers being thrown to Gerald. He's done so well. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. What a beautiful thing to say. And that's the end of our story. I think Gerald definitely found music that he loved, didn't he? He danced so well. <laughs> Do you like to dance? Maybe you could try and use some of Gerald's moves. <laughs> All right, well, that's the end of our story today. Shall we sing our goodbye song? Okay, here we go. Thank you, thank you for being here today. Thank you, thank you and have a nice day. All right, well, that's the end. So I hope you do have a nice day and I'll see you next week with another story. Goodbye.